Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem of simplify cube root of square root of 5 minus 2. Now, solution. From cube root of square root of 5 minus 2, square root of 5 is greater than 2. So, cube root of square root of 5 minus 2, the domain it should be greater than 0. So, not this condition. Now, suppose x is equal to, we let x is equal to this, which is cube root of square root of 5 minus 2, and y is equal to cube root of square root of 5. Here we have minus, so here it will be plus 2. So we'll be finding the value of x. Now to remove this cube root, we'll cube will power by 3 in both sides. So into this here, it will be x power of 3 is equal to, the power of 3 will cancel this cube root. So it will be equal to this, which is square root of 5 minus 2. And into here, we'll power by 3 in both sides. So it will be y power of 3 is equal to, the power of 3 will cancel this cube root. So it will be square root of 5 plus 2. Then into the next step, we'll take this x power of 3 minus y power of 3. So it will be x power of 3 minus y power of 3 is equal to this here, bracket square root of 5 minus 2 bracket minus this bracket square root of 5 plus 2 bracket. So it will be x power of 3 minus y power of 3 is equal to, here open the bracket to be square root of 5 minus 2, here open the bracket by this negative, so it will be minus square root of 5 minus 2. So this here will cancel this, so it will be x power of 3 minus y power of 3 is equal to minus 2 minus 2, it will be minus 4. So we'll call this equation 1. Then in the next step, we'll take, in the first step, we'll take the difference of this minus this. Now into the, into the next step, which is step 2, we'll take the product of x times y. So it will be x y, x times y is x y is equal to this times this. So is equal to cube root of square root of 5 minus 2 then times cube root of square root of 5 plus 2 then it will be x y is equal to here we have common cube root so q common cube root of this here times this expression under the cube roots so it will be square root of 5 minus 2 bracket then times square root of 5 plus 2 bracket. Then in the next step, it will be x, y is equal to, here, this, this times this is in the form of a perfect square, whereas this times this is in the form of a minus b bracket times a plus b bracket, which is equal to a square minus b square. So it will be common cube root here of this times this, it will be a square. It is square root of 5 square. So here square root of 5 bracket square. Then minus b square. It will be minus this 2 square. Then it will be x y is equal to cube root of this here, this square, this square root to cancel this square. Square. So it will be 5 minus 2 square is 4. Then it will be x y is equal to cube root of 5 minus 4 is 1. So cube root of 1 is equal to 1. So x y is equal to 1. Then we'll call this equation 2. So we'll use this equation 1 here and this equation 2 to find x y. So from equation 1, which is x power of 3 minus y power of 3 is equal to negative 4. 
and equation 2 is x y is equal to 1 so from these two equations here into this x x power of 3 minus y power of 3 this is in the form of a perfect cube so here we'll apply the rule which is a power of 3 minus b power of 3 which is equal to a minus b bracket bracket a square then plus a b plus b square bracket so from here a minus b it will be into this here it will be x minus y bracket then bracket a square it will be x square then plus a b it will be x y then plus b square it will be y square bracket is equal to this negative 4 then in the next step it will be x minus y bracket bracket here x square plus y square we we'll make to have relation with this x minus y so from the square of x minus y bracket square this is equal to x square plus y square plus x square plus y square here it is minus 2xy so here x square y square will take this minus 2xy into this side so it will be this here which is x square plus y square is equal to this which is x minus y bracket square this minus 2xy will take to this side to be plus 2xy so here x square plus y square will substitute this here so it will be x minus y bracket square then plus 2xy then plus this here xy bracket is equal to this negative 4 then into here it will be x minus y bracket bracket x minus y bracket square then plus 2xy plus xy is 3xy bracket is equal to negative 4 then into the next step here we will substitute the value of this xy xy is from this xy is equal to 1 so we will substitute 1 then our equation will be x minus y bracket bracket x minus y bracket square then plus 3 times xy which is 1 so it will be plus 3 only is equal to negative 4 then in the next step we will multiply by this xy inside the bracket so xy times xy x minus y times x minus y bracket square so it will be x minus y bracket power of 3 then plus x minus y times 3 is 3 bracket x minus y bracket is equal to negative 4 then in the next step here x minus y will let as u so we will let u is equal to x minus y so it will be u power of 3 so u power of 3 plus 3 u is equal to negative 4 then we'll take negative 4 to this side so it will be u power of 3 plus 3 u negative 4 take to this side to be plus 4 is equal to 0 then from here this it can be solved by grouping and factorization so it will be u power of 3 plus 3u then plus 4 4 is same as plus 1 plus 3 1 plus 3 is 4 is equal to 0 then it will be u power of 3 plus this 1 to have power of 3 1 to have power of 3 to be 1 power of 3 which is still 1 so plus 1 power of 3 then plus this plus this so 3u plus 3 is equal to 0 now here u power of 3 plus 1 power of 3 this is in the form of a perfect cube so this here will apply the break rule which is so from here we'll apply the break rule which is a power of 3 plus b power of 3 is equal to a plus b bracket bracket a square minus a b plus b square bracket so to apply this form a plus b to be u plus 1 so here u plus 1 bracket bracket a square it will be u square 
minus AB. It will be U times 1 is U plus B squared will be 1 square which is still 1 bracket then plus from here 3 is common so we'll take 3 out of bracket 3u divided by 3 is u then plus 3 divided by 3 is 1 bracket is equal to 0 then from here u plus 1 is common so we'll take u plus 1 bracket out of bracket this here divided by this it is this here which is u square minus u plus 1 then plus this divided by this is 3 so it will be plus 3 bracket is equal to 0 then it will be u plus 1 bracket times u square minus u 1 plus 3 is 4 so plus 4 bracket is equal to 0 now from here we have two solutions whereas this first solution u plus 1 is equal to 0 and this second solution u square minus u plus 4 is equal to 0 so from this first solution we we'll take 1 to this side so it will be u is equal to negative 1 and from here we check if it will give real, sol real roots so here from to check if it will give, give real roots we'll use discriminant formula from discriminant is equal to b square minus 4ac so to be discriminant is equal to b squared will be negative 1 bracket square minus 4 times a a is 1 times c is 4 so to be discriminant is equal to negative 1 square is 1 minus 4 times 1 times 4 is minus 16 is equal to minus 15 now this here it is less than zero so if it is less than zero to give it will no no real roots so this solution here will be rejected so rejected then we'll continue to solve from here from u before we let u here u it is x minus y so from u which is x minus y is equal to negative one then from x minus y is equal to negative 1, we'll use with this second equation of x, y is equal to 1. So from x, y is equal to 1, we'll use these two equations to find the value of x. Now, from this first equation, we'll take negative 1 to this side to be plus 1. Here we'll take negative y to this side to be plus y. So it will be here we'll take negative y to this side, so it will be y is equal to x negative 1 will take this side to be plus 1 then we will substitute y x is x plus 1 into here this is y so it will be the second equation to be x times y is this so it will be bracket x plus 1 bracket is equal to this one so this time this it will be x square plus this time this is x is equal to 1 then we take 1 to this side so it will be x square plus x we we'll take 1 to this side to be minus 1 is equal to 0 then from here we'll solve this by using quadratic formula so from quadratic formula to find the values of x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a so it will be x is equal to negative b is 1 coefficient of x so negative 1 plus or minus square root of b square it will be 1 square which is still 1 minus 4 times a a a is 1 times c c is negative 1 then over 2 times a a is 1 then it will be from here it will be x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 here it will be plus, plus 4 plus 4 times plus 4 plus plus 1 it will be here positive 5 then over this and this is 2 so from here we have two solutions of x so x is equal to negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and we have the other solution of x is equal to 
negative 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. So from these two solutions, we can see negative 1 minus square root of 5 over 2, this is less than 0. And negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, this is greater than 0. Then from the first condition here, we have this, this, the domain, it should be greater than 0. So this here, it is greater than 0, this is less than 0. So this solution here will be rejected. So from here, we are sub this, which will be for let this as x here, x is equal to this. So from cube root of square root of 5 minus 2, it will be equal to this here, negative 1 plus square root of 5 is same as square root of 5 minus 1, then over 2. So this is the simplified form of this our problem, square root of 5 minus 1 over 2. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.